Hey guys, welcome to my conversation with Coach Fulmer, Weaver High School, 1A, 4A, Alabama State Duels Champions. When I say that, Coach, how does it make you feel? Uh, it feels good because uh, that's kind of been something we've never done since I took over. Um, so uh, not not taking away the, the last two years or three years of getting hardware at traditional state, but uh, this has always been something that, you know, Coach Brown and myself, my assistant, we've always wanted to, um, we've always wanted to get make a push in the in the duels because you know that it, more of a team atmosphere and mm -hmm. you're relying on all your kids from 106 all the way to heavy. So um, to finally, you know, break through and, and get out of the, the quarterfinals and the prelims, you know, we got put out of the prelims last year. Yeah. Um, this is the first time we've ever made it to the final four. So that was really, um, that was, that was an awesome feeling on Friday. Yeah. So what, what is it about this team that makes it different? Because your teams are in the past have been just as talented. It just, you know. Did you hear me? Um, I don't know. I think the men. Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. Um, I think the the mentality of my of my kids is a little bit different. Not saying anything bad about any of the other teams I've had, but um, I mean, really, if you think about it, if, if you were to look at our lineup, this is a really young group when you base it on like grade levels. Um, this this team is really young to the point where like we can't even go compete in Georgia because we'd have to forfeit weight classes. Right. Um, but we've got um, you know. 106, 113, 120, 132, 138 are all eighth graders. They come through our youth program. Um, so they've they've been trained, um, you know, five, six, seven years in our youth program. And um, the ex they know the expectation. You know, we've got two freshmen. Those guys came through our youth program. We've got uh, two sophomores. Both of those guys come through our youth program. We've got four juniors and one senior. So, um this group, I think their men, I think their mentality is just different. They don't want, they don't want to look bad. They don't want to disappoint. They don't want to disappoint um, myself. They don't want to disappoint Coach Brown. They don't want to make the school look bad. Um, and I really feel like they've had a chip on their shoulder. They don't want to disappoint the guys before them. Um, and it, it's just really, it's really neat because, like, when you when we roll up and we've got five eighth graders in our lineup, people are like, oh, okay. But, like, the people around here locally know that they're not normal eighth graders. Right. Um, and nor not normal ninth graders and things like that. So this group is um, – I've said it in every interview, every question I've answered. This group is at top to bottom from 106 to heavy. It's um, especially – our younger ones, those guys, and they just, I don't know, the way all of them carry themselves, they don't make a big deal about things. They just shake hands. They walk off the mat. They celebrate with their teammates. They don't make it about themselves because they know it's it's us. It's not it's not just them. Yeah. Well, this I group is fun because um, – mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, this group's just fun because there's just um, – I don't – they're loose and they're just, I don't know. It's weird because like I'm nervous. I was nervous before the prelims and quarters with door and corner because they're both very good opponents. They're well coached. They've got great kids mm -hmm. and our kids are playing like the little hacky sack. They're throwing a <laughs> hacky sack at each other. They're hacky sack. And, and it's like, I'm looking at my system. I'm like, dude, are we ready? He goes, they're loose. I've never seen this before. And other groups in the past, we've been so tight and I think they fed off of me and that's why they were tight. And I tried, we tried to be kind of loose going into this and like, Hey, this is fun. Um, let's just compete and see what happens. And, um, and they're just, they're loose. They don't take things too serious and they just wrestle and they have fun. And I, I'm, I don't know, I guess that's what makes them different. It's, they're a little, they're a little more loose than the other teams I've had. Yeah. So, you know, you, you brought up your, yeah. your young part of the lineup and, and honestly, I mean, not to say the entire lineup didn't come through and do their job, but you're 106 to 144. We're 23 and five over the four duels. I mean, they were outstanding. Yeah, they're they're solid. Yeah, they're you know they're solid. They just been you know that's the group that primarily has been in our youth. So they have they've come through our youth program and the expectation. The other guys they know what's going on. Thank you. The other guys know what's going on. They just um, some of them come through the youth and some of them didn't. So um, 
it's, it's a little bit different for them as far as, you know, they didn't have that training in, in the youth far as the, far as the knowledge of the sport and the, tech, the technique and things. But, um, yeah, this, this group, top to bottom, they're, they're fun. They're stressful at times because they're young, <laughs> but uh, they're, they're a lot of fun to coach. So is it – how much of an advantage is it to have, like, a six-pounder who has three falls, you know, then a 20-pounder who has four falls, 38, 57, 65? They all went 4-0. They were spread out. That's got to give you a lot of flexibility within your lineup. Yeah, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. I think this may be, like, the first year um, when we wrestled Dora, we had – we had an – an possible option or matchup we wanted, but everything worked out like we wanted. So obviously we didn't have to do anything, but we didn't bump anybody. This was our straight 14 and we wrestled them because I think in a pass, uh, coach Brown, um, sent, he and I talked and like, we, we felt like we had overthought things and we overanalyzed, we looked at it too much and we psyched ourselves out and, and made it too big, made it bigger than what it really was. It's just wrestling. Um, and it's just, you know, the, the, the implications are a little bit more important, obviously, but um, mm -hmm. it's still wrestling. Um, yeah. And that's not the hardest thing they're going to do in life. So we just, we just made him, I mean, we just, we agreed, Hey, this is our, these are our 14 guys. And we, we weighed in other kids. I put everybody on the weigh in sheet where I wouldn't give anything away, but obviously these 14 guys are the guys that have pr predominantly been wrestling for us. So they were the guys we rolled out. So, um, and where we started at, um, in our lower weights in the in the early the rounds and then we started at like i think 126 in the first round or in the semis which is you know dalton fink who's one of my one of my better kids you know he's right. a two-time he's a three-time qualifier and a two-time placer so i always feel good when i have him and then i'm gonna end with one of my eighth graders you know like with the last three matches against jp2 i've got I've got my son as an eighth grader. I've got his one of his partners, his teammates as an eighth grader, and then I got another eighth grader. Um, so we like our chances when we end with those three guys because they've been competing at a high level all year. So um, it, it's really neat, you know, because we're we're real young in the early ones, and then as we get older, uh, as we get toward the bottom of our lineup, middle toward the bottom, that's where we have more older kids, more mature yeah. physically. But you know, it, it's a good balance, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Was there a moment in in that finals match when you were like, "This is going the way we want it to go"? Uh, you talking about with uh, St. James? Yeah. Um, I knew when we, you know, because the thirty two match, the thirty two, the thirty eight, the forty four, and the fifty match were all, and the fifty seven match were all decisions. Right. And um, I didn't and feel like we wrestled great in some of those but we ended up finding a way to win. And so mm -hmm. then we, we got toward the back of our lineup where we, you know, we kept the 190 lost by decision. We felt like we probably should have won that one and we let it get away. But again, ninth grader wrestle has wrestled well for us. He just come up a little short. Then we pinned at 215 and then we got pinned at heavy. And that still left us with, I think like a 30 to 17 or maybe a 24, 17 lead going into our last three. And realistically we felt, that two of those three, we, either, we were the favorites in and we could pin. Or I'm, I take it back because we still had Dalton Fink left to wrestle too because we started at 32. So I still had, mm -hmm. I mean, four guys. If you look at their record, like 31 and three, like 35 and eight. And then um, the heist, you know, the heist kid has lost six times or five times to Hom. You know, so that's why his record is the way it is. I mean, that kid's that kid's really good. And then you got Fink, who's just a he's a state placer. So we felt good going into when we turned the lineup back over to the the first four. We felt good. It wasn't a guarantee, but we felt good. We felt like a sense of relief. Like okay, we survived that part of it. They had some, we had some tough draws, so um, we felt good going in the last four. I guess is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and and you know, I looked at the the. <laughs> the the lineup or the the box score and and those decisions right at the beginning i mean dylan brown's five four decision over hearts and you know has got to be one of those one of those matches that you're like man that could have gone either way and yeah. we got it and that's got to feel that's got to make you feel really positive as you moved into the rest of the duel yeah and that's what that's what we had talked about uh his dad um and i had talked about like if we could we weren't sure like I felt like we had a chance to win that match just because I know the amount of work he's put in in the off season. 
Um, and I know the other one is kind of banged up a little bit, but at the same time, we felt like that one would be a, a six minute decision anyways, either way. So even if worst case scenario, we would have lost that. We felt like it still would have been three their way and not our way. So it wouldn't have been with a pen. So our kids did a really good job of, um, you know, obviously trying to bonus as much as they could. And then mm -hmm. obviously not getting pinned in some spots that we probably, you know, could have very well, but, um, you know, that was big for us, you know, the starting at 32 and then going through and ending with 26 was, it was a good matchup for us. So, you know, we, we was fortunate enough that we won those early ones to where I think we built a little bit of confidence for our kids. And it wasn't yeah. kind of took the, kind of took the the stress of the duel off a little bit because we were up nine to nothing instead of very well could have been down nine to nothing. Right, right, right. Which so, makes uh, it a completely different duel then. No, it <laughs> does. It does. Right. Um, so when all is said and done and they've, they've celebrated and you pull them to the side and it's just you having a conversation with them, what did you tell them? Uh, well, I, I know this is kind of cliche, but I told them I love them. And I told, look, I said, no matter what happens today, win or lose, uh, whatever we, if we get the results, we want to love you. I'm proud of you. We competed at a high level, um, things like that. And then, um, told them that was, uh, one thing that we had checked off that we wanted to do this year, uh, as a team. And now we're going to turn our, our sights toward, um, you know, traditional state. Cause we obviously want them, would like to be, make it a three peat. I don't know if it'll happen, but, uh, I like this team. They're scrappy, they're gritty. And, you know, it's just one of those where we just said, we love you guys. We're so proud of you. You represented the community well. You represented the school well. And they just, they wrestle hard for each other, which that's all we can ask. Yeah, no, 100%. 100%. Um, so, actually, my, my final question is, my typical final question is, you know, duels is, is such a team atmosphere. And not that there isn't a team title for traditional, but it is a little bit of a shift in thinking. Is it a shift in kind of, the way you approach it with the kids now that they're chasing like an individual state title or, or do you just kind of continue the ball rolling? Uh, we, I, so to be honest with you, it's this cliche. I mean, we, we have our whole motto, chop wood, carry water. So we basically preach to them, surrender the outcomes, trust the process. So, um, you know, the first state championship that I was able to win as a head coach, I had been the head coach at Weaver for 17 years before that happened. And I took over after Gene Taylor. So, like, right. I don't want to say that it doesn't mean anything now, but, like, the emotion that I had after the first one is a little bit different. Um, I get, I guess now I feel more joy because I see the kids' excitement because mm -hmm. I think they want to please. Um, the the focus doesn't really shift a whole lot. We're, we're still going to preach the, um, you know, we're going to go out and battle. We're going to have fun. You know, uh, we get through this week. We got two weeks to practice. Uh, for sectionals so we'll scale back how long we're there we'll scale back on like the hard conditioning and stuff and we'll just focus a lot on correcting technique and just making sure that our kids are still on weight and they're putting the right things in their body but we'll just you know it, it'll still be the message is still the same we're going to go out we're going to compete at a high level these kids if the good thing about this group whether it's my young group um, or my older kids um, if they get beat early in a match that maybe they shouldn't, or if it's a tough match, they find a way to battle back. Um, because I had, you know, looking back at our County tournament, you know, we scored three, we scored, I think we finished three points behind Alexandria and we lost a couple matches we shouldn't have, but we ended up, those kids ended up wrestling back in the constellations. And I don't know, I guess the neat thing about this group is we don't have that what we call one stud. Like we don't have a JD right. and we don't have a Devin or a Cody or anybody like that, like a Nick Souter type kid. Right. But we've just got a solid group of kids that just continue. They got that blue collar mentality. They just punch in, they punch out, and they just work hard. And um, they're going to score. And um, we're just excited to see how many we get in and what they do. Um, obviously at the state, but we, we like our chances with this group because we know, we know, I don't think I could be completely wrong. I don't think they're phased by the attention and the hype around them. Cause they just continue to just kind of put their head down and work. So yeah. we're just going to continue to make it fun and get, you know, keep every, get everybody and keep everybody healthy. Um, and hopefully we peak again at the right time. Like we had the past couple of years. Well, congratulations on a, a great run coach. Um, you know, if you Thank look you. at the box scores, it, it doesn't look like they were close, but I know there were uh, there were moments in each match that that you know the kids had to fight through. and And congratulations on on claiming the the duels title, and best Thank of you. luck as you get ready to run for the traditional title. Thank you, appreciate it. All right, take care.